Decided to do a let's chat kind of video. I can't really do a Q and A because every time I put a, like a question thing on there, I don't really get no response on my Instagram. It's because I'm not really that popular on my Instagram. It's okay. <laughs> so instead of doing like a Q and A like a lot of people do, we're just gonna chat. Cause I haven't sat down and actually did a chat video since oh, I never had a little chat video. I use this a clean with me, use this an evening routine, morning routine, a day in life. I don't really sit down and chat. So we gonna sit down and chat. <laughs> with a glass of wine. I barely got any because I don't really wanna have that much. So Yeah. So, if you're new to my channel, and if you've been t around my channel, and you didn't know, I'm a mother of two. Um, they are a mess. But what kid isn't? Same with mom life. Mom life is the most beautiful thing ever to become a mom. Either way, you adopted, foster, give birth to young kids, had a surrogate, regardless of any way you became a mother. It's the most beautiful thing and also challenging thing. So I will say, mom life is a journey. So, but now that I wanna do like a let's chat because Vlogmas is almost over. And I would say, if I know a lot of vlog bloggers who've done Vlogmas are having a hard time, and I'm also having a hard time. Vlogmas is the awesome, awesomeness thing to do in a YouTube um, community. Because you get a lot of your stuff out, you get a lot of your creativity out you also it helps your channel out if you do it also if you do sponsorship it also helps by doing a lot of videos in one month but i will say vlogmas can be a level also it like you really have to work at it you have to, like it's time consuming because you're filming, you're editing, and you're doing 25 videos in one month. And then usually a month is 30 to 31 days. It is the most craziest thing ever. But I have enjoyed it. It's just getting to this part, I think everybody will say, to this part of the vlogmas. It's right in the middle of being almost done. And also got over the beginning part. It's getting the struggle now of it's taking over your life. While we're talking about this, um, after Vlogmas, I will be taking two to three weeks off of my channel. I have nothing pre filmed because it's hard to pre film, also, on top of doing 25 videos in one month. So I have no pre filmed videos, and I just need. I would say this to anybody who does vlogmas. After vlogmas, you do need a mental break and just enjoy being in the moment and not have a camera on your face and have to worry about, I need to get a video up tomorrow. I need to get a video up today, kind of thing. So I have went on my Instagram and Twitter already to announce that I will not be, I'll be taking a break for two to three weeks. I mentally, mentally need it. Cause I will say, mentally I am exhausted. I think it's harder cause you look at the vloggers that I love to watch 
and I will say watching them vlog but the only difference between them and me is I'm working outside the home on top of doing 25 videos and it's a struggle because I'm dealing with already some struggles but not only that I'm dealing with trying to do too much I have thought about quitting vlogmas but I have done so 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 well and I'll be filming tomorrow two videos and one they're both routines so if I do this video and there that video I'll have 20 videos for you guys so far and I don't want to give it up because I only need to do five more videos for you guys and I also need to put out some good content of those five videos so I will say I'm already close to the finish line I'm over here like finish it accomplish finish it and then after Christmas Day <laughs> I'll touch my camera or my computer for some weeks so cheers to that So, let's go off that subject. Also, if you haven't noticed, my husband is not on my channel hardly ever. He comes in here and there. He doesn't like to be filmed. I have said this in previous videos. He doesn't like to be filmed. He doesn't. He wants that privacy. He, and I respect that. Like, he respects me doing YouTube. He respects me and supports me. So, I wonder the same thing. I respect him with his privacy so but if i need help like with something with my camera or something on the computer he will help me but he just don't want to be in front of the camera which is understandable i understand so if you ever wondered i am married it's just my husband's never on the on the videos and he and he wants it that way that's fine that's why i don't put a lot of my family on youtube either if I am with them and I'm filming, I usually shoot it in weird angles to not get them in it. So, yeah. I said that's most of my life. My husband, who is also on medical leave, and I will say financially, we're struggling. And but I think majority of the world is struggling at this time because some regardless if we're not in that deep pandemic era we're still in a pandemic we're still dealing with i want to say the aftermath of it but we're still dealing with it we're still dealing with people having i want to say like i don't like it political or nothing like that no 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 we're just having problems you know some people have financial problems with their jobs. Some people just are struggling. Some people just lost their job because of a scenario. So, so you gotta look at it that way. I swear to God, it's a shadow over there. Where the fucking shadow came from? Excuse my language. <laughs> I need to go to bed. I'm seeing things. <laughs> so, but since we don't have a Q and A, I'm gonna go as best I can. Okay, I work outside the home, like I said, and I do YouTube on the side. Um, I always have my. Twitter and Instagram in the description box. You can follow me there. I'm usually on my Instagram daily and on my Twitter. I usually tweet every once, I want to say every once in a while, every few days or every week, even if it's once a week. Film, not film, tweet. Yeah, I need to go to bed. Tweet um, anything about mental health and stuff like that. Just any quotes that I came up with and everything else. That's why the goodness that child is going crazy. So, but that is the description box. I also have a TikTok. Um, I need to link it. I haven't linked it yet. 
but I have a TikTok that I do every once in a while just to have some fun you know same with my reels on my Instagram I have a little fun with that and get creative with it you know so I will say I do have a TikTok and do have a reel I try to so that's telling you right there I am regardless of not on YouTube I am busy and I'm being a mom of two and I am working outside the home so Knowing that, speaking of working outside the home, I don't really talk about my private life, especially my week workplace, but I will say I work with something. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, some of my shirts have alcohols on it, alcohol names and brands. I also has a wine around the house. Also trying new liquors that I, I like the most around the house. That's one of my reels that are some of my little drinks on there. It's because I work with alcohol. <laughs> so and I don't mind my job. I love my job. Um I'm learning every day and I like and I like my workplace because I don't mind my coworkers. They're actually pretty cool. And my manager really works with my my schedule, my kids, and everything. If I need off for something with my kids, most of the time I can get off or get off early and stuff like that. So I will say they work with, work with you. That's why I love it. That's why I think we're struggling because pay there is not that well. <laughs> Choose it out. Okay. So, I don't want to buy much alcohol there too. So, I would say that's the only private thing I'll probably talk about. Um, the reason I got on YouTube is to just get some creativity out. Sometimes it's a flop. I would say if you are really into your work and you know it's a video and when you put it out, you're like, I don't like the way that came out. You do care about your stuff. You know, I just doing it for views. And I'm like over there like I didn't like that one. There was like a laundry routine I just put out for y'all guys. I think it was like day whoever. I have a calendar right here. Um and it did not come out like what happened was I filmed it and I was being realistic with it. It's what I usually do for my laundry routine. It literally was short and I was not playing that. I thought it would be more. <laughs> I thought it would be longer than that when I planned it out and filmed it. <laughs> no, once I got it edited and did like the speedy of it, yeah. It, yeah, it came out shorter than what I thought. So. That's what happened. <laughs> but also if you're religious and stuff, my family's going through some issues. Not not my husband. He we're hopefully we'll get that fixed this Thursday. I'm doing this Tuesday. But we have a family member and my kids don't know. So I'm whispering away. Cause they're just going to bed, so I know one was still up. But we have a family member that has lung cancer. And it doesn't look good. But we're hoping for the best. And if you are religious in any way, please pray for our family. Cause for right now it is a struggle. Sadly, it is a struggle. So that's what I've been dealing with here. So that's why I'm just not even, not even talking about work or YouTube. It's literally I'm dealing with some family. I don't want to say problems, but we're having some family issue kind of thing. So, but now we could just add, but also. 
if you go on my Instagram or see my videos, you will see that I am a mental health advocate. Um, I learn every day. Um, some days are harder than others. And everybody's different. They heal different. They do things different to help them. So, anyway, you look at it this way. That's why we're going to film another video right after this one. It's going to be you playing the year, would you? And so I'm going to have some little bit of tips. It's not going to probably be a long video because I try to plan and it don't always work out. But I will say, mentally, take care of yourself. You're, you're only gonna be, there was this one little quote, um, it's only gonna be one of you. Take care of you. And that's why I do every May, regardless I don't make much from it to raise money, like a lot of people can, and but they don't use their platform to do it. I would think I will always continue this until, get old and ragged and I can't do it anymore <laughs> but I will probably continue every May for the next 20 to 30 years hopefully it'll get bigger every year but I'm gonna raise money and sell shirts and sell things to raise money to mental health because it's a big thing that gets overlooked you can miss work to be sick, but you really can't miss work to be mentally rest yourself. You don't get mental days. You get sick days, but you don't get mental days. So, always take care of yourself mentally. Um, and my husband, he hint. He's already working on a shirt design. I come up with the theme. I'll come up with the theme in April let you know but i usually come up with theme he does the design he's really really good at drawing and getting in everything um so he don't mind helping <laughs> talking props but i will say mental health is important and i don't think a lot of people use their platform i think there's like two people that i watch that talk about their mental health on their YouTube. And I, I'm proud of them. Because you don't need to show like the perfect day or the perfect stuff going on. Because when you know you're not going, you're going through a hard time mentally. So I like seeing those kind of videos because it's like I can relate to you. And I feel the same way with my channel. I'm trying to hope you relate with me. And what I mostly is about, and I'm going to try to work on in the new year, is a different way. I sat down a minute ago, brought some ideas down for some videos. And you know what? And I was thinking about it on the way home after buying my playing stuff. I thought about it. I want to do something different. I'm tired. I wouldn't say I'm following the gist of everything. And I think that's why I need those weeks off just to figure out my plan. I'm tired of doing the same old thing everybody else does. I don't do the 5 a.m. morning routine because who does that? I don't. I literally get up right when I need to get up. Which is at seven. <laughs> get up. Barely got myself together. Go in my kids' room. Wake them up. Get their outfits picked out. Get them dressed out the door. In about 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have done better since Vlogmas started. Of staying up. I used to drop them off. Come back and take a nap. Take a nap. And most of the time, it's sad to say, I was sleep until I had to pick my kid up, my other kid up. And she's only at her school for four hours. That is sad to say. I used to do that. 
so I would say I if you're looking for non prop the non perfect mom I am your chick <laughs> check me out <laughs> so I kind of want to like do that with my channel um You know, just the same old, same old. I, I watch some old. There's a few Dana Lights I like. And I love me a good cleaning video. That's why I probably can't tell you doing cleaning video. I just want to switch it up. Make me a, something myself original. You know what I mean? So, if you have any ideas of what you would love to see on YouTube, hit me in the comments below. Okay? Not because I need engagement, because I just need... I want to know what the audience wants. I don't want to follow the same old, same old. And I'm learning from Vlogmas. I don't want to keep on following the same old, same old people. I want to do stuff differently. I love me a good vlog every once in a while to film. But they don't do good on views. So I might just do my own thing. And if it gets me subscribers, it gets me subscribers. If it gets me the views, it gets me the views. If it don't, I did my best. So. But. This video is already. Well. I probably edited it down. By some little clips here now. But. It's already 20 minutes. And I just got the girls to sleep. So. I'm going to film. More video tonight. So you're going to see me in two outfits in the same area. <laughs> I'm not going to be those YouTubers. And change my outfit. And change where I'm sitting. Nope. It's got good lighting right here, and it's quiet, and I don't have to rush to work right at the moment. This is the perfect time to do sit out, sit out, sit down videos. So, I hope you enjoy this one. If you do want to do a QA and a in the future, give me a thumbs up. I'll try to do it on Instagram, put a question box and everything, but... I will say, but if you want to do a Q and A, you just want to ask questions on my YouTube channel. Hit me up in the comments. I'll answer them whenever I do the Q and A. I'll write them down and have them on hand. So when I ever do the Q and A, I can answer your question. I hope it helped you to understand me as a person and understand my channel a little bit better. Hopefully, 2022 brings new things to the channel. Hopefully, hope I can do it. Because working out outside of the home and doing this, it can be hard. So, I will say, I'm just keep on hustling. That has been my theme song lately. Every day I'm hustling. <laughs> Which I am. Because I'm doing YouTube. I'm doing TikToks. I'm doing Reels. I'm doing working outside the home. I'm being the mom. I, I mean... <sighs> but... It's called being a hustler. <laughs> but anybody who works two jobs or three jobs, I heck, I applaud you. Y'all are the real hustlers. Because you put food on the table and take care of your family. That is, I give you props. So, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't done a Let's Chat video ever. So I hope you enjoyed it. Probably won't get that much views or likes. And I'm fine with it. But I've been wanting to put a Let's Chat video out. I just haven't done it. Because I'm scared. And right now I'm to the point. If I don't get the views or new subscribers. It's alright. For the 200 and something. I think it's 257 at the moment. The subscribers who are here. Y'all are the MVPs boo. I will applaud y'all. You are joining my journey. <laughs> so. So we will try new things in 2022. So. I'll see y'all on my next video. Vlogmas is almost over. <laughs> then I'm going to take a mental vacation. Because I can't afford to go on a real vacation. <laughs> and then the week after. Christmas. I'm gonna be working like heck anyway because it's New Year's Eve after. So that's why I said two to three weeks because I know the week after it's gonna be, I want to say H E L I L at work, but it's gonna be busy. So I will say that. 
but it's gonna be crazy. That's why I'm like, let's say I'm looking forward to go back to school, but I'm looking forward to that week after New Year's. Get back in our routine. Enjoy just taking a break and not touching my computer and my camera. So, I have to worry about having a crazy schedule at work. So, hope you enjoy this. I guess. <laughs> Yeah.